Yes, I will. So thank you very much, uh, Dean Buttle and Gerald Godet. Beyond 200. But it's time for us to come to a close, and we are going to give the last word, the wrap-up, to uh, Ruth Allen Rigby uh, and to Jennifer Cook. And they're starting to move the board that we've been looking at all day. So Ruth Allen Rigby, uh, her participation as lecturer, tour leader, and administrator at the McGill Community for Lifelong Learning has been an important part of her retirement. She spent 35 years or more at the Montreal General Hospital in many positions in nursing administration. I think the big thing she learned was patience. <laughs> uh, her work in, um, in education there attracted her to uh, come to McGill to continue learning. And so she's been at MCLL, she's been uh, the president of MCLL, and she's been our fabulous leader for this symposium. And Jennifer Cook, Jennifer Cook involves coordinating the needs of many people at the Regroupement des Organismes Communautaires Autonomes Jeunesse du Québec. And if you can say that, you've got a big job. And so we can hardly wait to hear Jennifer's Speaking, look how she can put things down. It's very exciting, her graphic representation of what we have done today. And so we'll give it to them to close our session. I just like to remind people that on the way out, the uh, Paragraph Bookstore is still there. There are wonderful books, especially on uh, lifelong living opportunities. So have a look. Um, would any of you like to move forward so you could see? Uh, we'll certainly discuss it, but you might need to be closer if you wish. Um, firstly, I'd really like to extend our special thanks um, to our presenters. I think they've made this incredible day and the symposium a very rich experience. I think also today this summing up uh, session is going to be something very special, something very unique and very creative. Um, I've never seen this before, and I'm very excited about it. Um, as Judith said, my name's Ruth Allen Rigby, and I've had the pleasure to be chair of this um, committee. It's been very innovative, and it's been a great deal of fun. And um, although it's been hard work, it's been great. I would also like to uh, introduce my colleague, Jennifer Cook. She's an experienced uh, community organizer and exceptional facilitation skills and a talent as a graphic artist. And she's listened deeply to what we've said all day and uh, then visually transcribes uh, and shares the key points that people have made. Um, our committee had several um, essential. We thought there was going to be a first conversation on lifelong learning and living. We thought intergenerational learning was going to be discussed, age-friendly universities and cities, uh, new technology, and what lies in the future of McGill. However, I think this session is your turn to tell us what you got out of the day and what points you really enjoyed and to give us some great feedback. So we will open it up for Jennifer um, to explain what she did all day and very beautifully did. Hi, um, okay, so uh, I've got the, the wonderful privilege of bringing you to the wrap up of the day. So a few more minutes, a little energy, we'll get there in the end. Um, okay, so what I've been doing is I have been, and I was explaining to someone earlier, it's kind of like a, 
a philosophical outlook of everything that has been said today through visual. And then what you guys are all going to do now, because you're so engaged and you're so part of this movement, is take all of these thoughts and ideas and you are going to take it to the next steps because the the thing we don't want to do is that we leave a symposium like this and then we all go home to our lives and and then we don't go anywhere else. So we want to take the energy and the dynamic and the ideas that we've heard and take them forward. So some of the interesting things that have been coming out during the day is questions, which I love. My kids don't like them, but I love them um, because I think any type of learning is is always the next question. So we have a lot of hows and whys that have been coming out. And then the whole idea of the movement, the journey, the voyage, the stories from before, now, and what are our stories going to be together going forward. Um, obviously, there's always the economic question. But like I say to my nonprofit groups that I work with, it's not always we sometimes think it's the most important one, but sometimes when we build things, people will come with the economic uh, solutions. Um, and then obviously opportunities are always, um, and I love this coming out of Christine's, um, was the idea of looking at those opportunities and seeing how we can take, take those forward and find all of these um, different ideas through that. Um, and then the other thing that I think came out today which was really interesting was obviously the intergenerational piece and how important it was and, and the whole mentorship piece which I'm very, very excited to hear that that because I do think the mental health piece became very apparent during the day. Mental health not only of uh, elder people, but mental health of students and younger people. And I work with a lot of students who actually are marginalized, so a lot of them don't even get to universities, and mentorship is a huge piece. Um, policy development, I put it in there. I think it's really important because sometimes policy is something we don't want to think about, but it obviously is a really important piece to bring this forward and make it concrete. Um, so we can sort of... If, we want to just this side uh, side. just come towards me. We're going to try and do this without it falling down. Okay. So, so then we got into our panels and we got into our Manitoba friends who have been taking it to some have become part of the com community on the global. I think Christine also mentioned this. So the global piece, I thought, became quite apparent during the day. Uh, it came up even within McGill's uh, future visioning and how they're going to make their celebration global. So I think global is huge. And then obviously, if we're thinking of the whole A AI piece as well, how are we working globally that way as well. So global came up all day. Engagement, how do we engage? How do we engage ourselves? How do we engage others? How do we bring it down to the community? Something that was said also was uh, a top down, bottom up. Um, how do we, you guys are, are you know creating this and how do we bring it to the people at the top? Um, and then voices came up, roles, um, and then obviously with Kathleen, a lot of, I said to her, a lot of visual language, um, which I thought was stunning, because uh, it really inspired me, but bridges and this whole idea of friendships, and and I love the passion of, of her presentation as well. And, and then with her and with, um, with Jim, the whole idea of the environment, which I hadn't really thought about. I think about it a lot when I, I work in organizations, but when I spoke with Ruth and, 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 and the committee, I, I wasn't even thinking about environments, but environments are so key in that idea that in order to invite someone in and to make them feel like they're participating in the, in 
in whatever you're organizing, they have to feel like where they're going is welcoming and that they're, they're invited through the door. They don't feel like, oh, well, it's not my place. And some students I know feel that way. Uh, even students who maybe could come to university and feel that maybe is there a place for them here because of where they come from. Um, and I think probably uh, older people too. Why would I go to a university? Do I feel... So I think environment is a key piece that actually I thought was very, very important. Um, and then um, I love the idea that we are actually thinking about this in Canada. It's not just here in Montreal, it's across the country. So I think there's that whole across Canada community that can be uh, kind of... Um, pushed forward and then obviously again the global community which will will push us and give us that leverage that we need to go forwards. Um, okay and then we have that lovely uh, lunchtime session which I got the presentation early this morning and I was fascinated and fascinated during lunch as well so thank you Leslie. Uh, very interesting to see the whole health issue uh, I think some of you probably, f I spoke to a few people who found that interesting as well and how health, um, um, the brain and, and obviously different aspects of our health, but also that idea of the social health. And I, again, uh, working with communities that I work with and with uh, uh, the nonprofit sector where we're dealing with a lot of social issues, social is obviously something that we completely believe in. And, and I really believe that uh, that is the fact that uh, we're talking about brains and we're talking about social, wow, we've come a long way because that hasn't always been the case. Um, so that as well was fascinating. Um, and then we're back to the other side. Are you okay? Okay, and I'm just going to... So we have the whole IE and impacts. Uh, I really like the visual of holding a bomb of, you know, like the being on the threshold, feeling like you're holding the bomb kind of thing. I thought that was an interesting visual. That, uh, I really like the idea of the brain and the holy grail kind of imagery that was coming out. I thought that was kind of interesting. I love, obviously I love visuals. So it's, um, And then the whole idea of, systems changing and how difficult that is for us and that we're like, as uh, humankind, we've always been afraid of change and uh, from the beginning and, and maybe there are good things that could happen from these changes. But at the same time, we have to be really careful. So the whole safety, who, the ethics, um, and then all the questions. Like obviously AI had questions, questions, how, why, what, who, uh, and how you were gonna participate. And obviously with your workshop, that was very interesting and we're gonna take all of this away with us uh, after today. Um, then there is uh, our last but not least, uh, McGill participation and um, the idea of stories coming back again, our stories and how our paths change, uh, how our lives and that whole wisdom and what we can bring to this, uh, this community and how we can bring what we're learning to other communities. I thought that was really, really strong. Uh, the idea of value, and then obviously the needs of the students and and the roles that this community can play within w the exchange, I would say, between the students. I didn't realize as well today that that was going to be so strong. I thought that was wonderful, the mentorship piece. Um, and then the wonderful celebration and how do we use that uh, as a leverage to promote what we want to do to go forwards because I think there's a partnership there that could be really interesting. And then there's fantastic comments all over uh, the board um, and uh, they're all going to be used I think in a document um, but we've got key is us, a, a, lot of, a lot of people talking about uh, it's all about the community engagement um, 
And uh, so thank you all for participating so well. And uh, Ruth, is there anything you want to add? <laughs> Would, uh, does anybody have any questions from the floor? Is there? Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering if you will be sending out these fantastic PowerPoints uh, to people who have signed up. There were some of them that I would love. Well, they're in PowerPoint. Send them out on email. The easiest, I would think. The easiest for me, anyway. <laughs> Any other thoughts, questions? Um. My only thought, Ruth, is that this has been a fantastic day. I have learned so much, and the, pre the presenters, the questions, the participants have uh, taught me so much. This has been very enriching, and I just want to say a deep thank you to you and your committee for organizing. Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to hope, I'd like to hope that McGill will continue something that we started in their celebrations by giving us more of the same, more interesting conferences that move this whole thing forward. Right. Yes. Uh, and lastly, I think there are a few thanks I would like to give, but I would really like to thank you as an audience because I think we really hoped that people will make it interactive, we would have discussions, and it's been a wonderful, wonderful group that have interacted so well. Um, just to finish up, I would like to say that we'd like to thank our sponsors once more. The um, MCLL we got funding for from Zellers, and there were a great deal of MCLL members themselves that uh, gave donations which sponsored the uh, symposium. I'd like to thank again Fiona Clark at the back here, who um, with her committee organized in 2014 the 25th anniversary we had, and they had wonderful ideas then, and we've begged and borrowed and stolen some of those for our conference today. Um, I would also like to thank the media people here, they've done a great job both for convincing us that live streaming would be all right and we all wouldn't, um, it wouldn't break down, or that we could, um, our members could see it from home and it all worked perfectly. Thank you very much. Um, just briefly also, Anna and Sally, who were um, our administrative coordinators, they've taken an awful lot of hard work and um, also the uh, people in the volunteers in the office, as well as Marissa Galfuser, who's our liaison with the uh, SCS. I, the dean, certainly, we were very pleased to see her here. She had to um, catch a train, but um, she thanked everybody for coming. Um, Tony and wherever, Tony, oh, Tony is there, and where is Julie? They did a wonderful reception for us yesterday evening, and it was really good. Um, one of our members, our IT member, did set up a room in MI, MCLL uh, across the way here for live streaming today. I don't know how many people landed there, but um, we appreciate his thoughts. The students today have been simply wonderful and it's given an incredible difference to both the quality and the quantity of the ideas that we've had. And what we thought was difficult, they've taken on and done so incredibly well, particularly mixing and matching your tables, which we thought was quite impossible. Um, uh, then it was done within an hour by one of the students. Um, well, no, she's not a student, Emily. 
Churchill Smith is maybe somewhere in the room. There we are. Thank you, Emily. Um, last but not least, I'd like to just um, ask the people who are on the um, committee uh, to stand up just so we can see who they are. Um, Astri Thorvik is at the back there. Uh, Susan Biggs was our social one, plus our have that wonderful look about them um, person on the committee. Judith Sherman and uh, Marianne Mongeau. John Hobday, I think it was at the back there. Marlene Chan, Jill Harrington, Jerry Barra, Leslie Re Rejnier, and Emily Churchill-Smith, and I think that's the group. Thank you very much, <laughs> wonderful day, and thank you and goodbye. Um, just finally, if any of the presenters would like directions for this evening, uh, please come and see us. Um, as to t oh, uh, yeah, Susan at the back there has the place we're going to and the time, and we're looking forward to seeing you to celebrate again. Thank you very much.